Good Lord. I mean, you talk about the collapse of everything. <laughs> oh boy, another day in the end times and the collapse of everything in the shithole town of Candor, New York. On this lovely, it is a Saturday. It is a Saturday, June 29th, 2024. Yesterday was the most outlandishly gorgeous day of 2024. Unbelievably gorgeous yesterday. And here is our payback. Our payback from, uh, <clears throat> from yesterday. Yeah, good Lord, I have a full, a full uh, vacation rental going on tonight. Every one of my uh, tiny houses are rented, so I've got a, a throng of people coming to hang out, and I have no internet, no internet. Uh, and, and it's not just me, and it's not just the, you know, my general neighborhood. I, I mean, it's like the entire, the entire territory of the this little small town internet company uh, is is gone. I, I mean, everywhere from Elmira to Owego to Cortland. And everywhere in between, Candor, Wilseyville, Brooklyn, I mean, the entire grid uh, is down. There is no explanation for it. I uh, don't know if it's weather related. They have no clue when the, you know, when the Internet's coming back up. And, of course, without the Internet, we have no cell phone. There is no way for me to communicate with uh, all of the people coming in when people get here. There is no way to communicate with the outside world from Bugs in a Jar Farm uh, on this beautiful uh, Saturday and the collapse of everything. And you know, I mean, it just, whenever the internet goes out, uh, especially, the, the, I mean, this is hands down the biggest uh, blackout outage. Uh, I, I, I don't even know when this, uh, this video will be up. It's 1 o'clock in the afternoon. The internet, well, I got up at 8 o'clock, so it, 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 it's been out for at least five hours at least five hours, sometime between midnight and 8 a.m., crash and burn. Uh, I, I guess the these poor schmucks uh, working on these crews are, uh, are on the job. They say they are, and they say, guys, we're doing the best we can. But uh, good Lord, I mean, there are thousands and thousands of people uh, with no internet, and it, it, it's just, it, it's hard for me to wrap my brain around this. I am, you know, 64 years old. Uh, when did I ever have internet, uh, in, in, in my life? I guess it was around 1990, Maybe when uh, I, I was in my 30s. So somehow for the first 30 years of my life, uh, I managed to survive without internet or a cell phone. Did all right. It was a little bit inconvenient, but since you had nothing to compare it to, uh, and, and compared to a homing pigeon and the Pony Express, uh, you know, the Internet in 1990 was pretty good. But, you know, more, more than that, 300,000 years, 300,000 years, humanity 
survived. Somehow we managed to muddle through without internet, uh, without cell phones, without email, uh, without our little apps. S somehow we managed to do it. And my God, when, when it goes down, I, I, you know, I mean, this is a tiny, tiny little peek uh, in, into what it's going to look like and the collapse of global industrial civilization. Uh, you know, th th this entire planet is 100% dependent uh, on, on the internet now. It, Every single thing uh, that we do uh, is dependent uh, on the internet. Uh, this, uh, this entire civilization, it might last one week uh, in, it, in its present form <laughs> with, with, without the internet. How we have just trusted this whatever the shit the internet is uh, I, I have no clue what the hell the internet is all I know is my business is 100% dependent on it without the internet uh, I, I have no way to communicate uh, with my, you know, with my clients and uh, all, all, all of this shit. I, I am co completely isolated. Now, I am able, to, you know, to come into town and call my clients. So I just talked to everyone coming in and uh, I, I, I said, guys, uh, I said, there is no internet. Uh, and when there's no internet, there is no cell phone. Uh, so when you get here, there is going to be no way for you to communicate with the outside world. Uh, so I, I said, if there's anything you need to do uh, on your cell phone, uh, j just do it before you get here because uh, they're putting no timeline when uh, we we could get this back, and uh, it, it 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 sucks. Uh, obviously, there will be uh, no YouTube uh, without the internet. Uh, but anyway, I, I am getting a I I I'm getting a taste uh, of the way I had to survive for the first half of my life. The first half of my life. Uh, I, I, I was in the same shape uh, that I'm in right now. I, I guess for the first half of my life, uh, I, I was just completely clueless on how fucked I was. Uh, w w without the internet, it, n it never occurred to me in, in the first 30 years of my life that I was completely fucked because I did not have the internet, and, and we actually had to, you know, do shit uh, like go to libraries and, and, and look up shit, uh, you know, to read books, you know, going into this thing called the card catalog and reading books, and, and then they had these things called landline telephones. I know you youngsters, we, we, we actually had these things in our houses th that uh, we called telephones. And then there were these things called payphones, uh, which, which of course was the biggest hilarious anachronism in the Matrix. You know, and, and that, that entire movie, The Matrix, which, uh, you know, nobody knows what year that was supposed to be happening, how everything uh, revolved around payphones. When they made them, what year did they make The Matrix? 
uh, I'm thinking within three years of making the Matrix, these things called payphones and telephone booths. There were these weird little, the, these weird little glass cubicles with a telephone in them. You you would uh, I, I I know you you young folks uh, are think think I'm just a raving lunatic, but we we actually just all over the place. Like like here at this laundromat, there would be this weird looking little little glass cubicle. And we would go in it, and inside, I, I know this is hard to believe, inside this little glass cubicle was a, was a telephone. And you would put money in it. Uh, I remember uh, in my childhood when it was a nickel, the last time I think I used a payphone before they went extinct, I think maybe 50 cents. <coughs> And if you dialed zero, you would get this thing called an operator, a real live human, 99% of the time a human female would come on the line if you press the letter O and you would immediately have a conversation with a real human. And uh, she would help you make a telephone call. I uh, I, I I I know this sounds like uh, like homing pigeon and uh, Pony Express shit coming out of my mouth. But anyway, I am down at the laundromat. Uh, because I, of course, I have no washer and dryer at my vacation rental business. I have, I have to come down, get in a gas-sucking truck, use a uh, washer and an electric dryer to wash my sheets when I don't hire the Amish woman to do my sheets for me. <clears throat> so I have to, uh, get back inside uh, to the remnants of global industrial civilization while I wait for the lifeline to the rest of the world to come back on and uh, it, it, it's gonna suck guys it's gonna suck uh, when this shit comes down Get out there and enjoy every bit of global industrial civilization while you still can. Take it from me, it sucks when you don't have it. Bye guys.